So I said to her, I've got to go because I've got to sign a contract and I was trying to, you know, it sounded like a lie. She thought you were just she trying to escape her clutches. But it came to a head when I said, I've got, uh, you know, I have to go at this. She goes, where do you have to go at that time? She had that voice. <laughs> right, that's how she spoke, <laughs> a bit yes. like Borat. Where do you go character. now? Yeah, very much like that. And I said, oh, because uh, my flatmates are going and we, it's a certain time and I'm meeting them there. Right. And she w went mental and said, you're meeting the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you meeting the mayor? You think I'm stupid? You think that every, I th y there's so many people in London, you think they all have to meet the mayor to sign a contract? <laughs> it would never happen. And I just lost her it's at that, that point. That, that, is, have you ever tried to rekindle that romance? She does. Well, that's interesting. I like the idea that in that moment, she thought... ...with grief that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Bit Why are you saying that with your eyebrows so far up your head? <laughs> that's how you do Shakespeare. You got is your he's, he's got his eyebrows right up and he's as if he's going, what could be wrong with this? <laughs> offering it to us. <laughs> that's what he's saying, though. He's trying to be all in love. Well, it's second-hand car dealer trying to dish well, out I'm Shakespeare. My acting. I'm trying my hardest. No, Shall I compare nice. thee to a summer's day? No. I remember hearing him on the phone, but he used to phone up places and go, Spearmint Rhino, I believe this was. Other yeah. lap dancing clubs are available. He phoned up lap dancing clubs and goes, Hello, I'm uh, Russell Brand's agent. I'm called Jock McGee. <laughs> he used to have a stupid name. And he could have just gone, Oh, hello, I'm phoning up on behalf of Russell Brand. But instead, he turned it into a massive Oscar winning performance <laughs> with some sort of huge Scottish man. Jock McGee here. Will you look after my bairn? He'll be coming there. Do not make him wear di difficult shoes on arrival. I'll need him uh, to have uh, on the guest list. He's a very important guy. Plus Give the one. guy a booth. Yeah. Why did he used to do that? Because then you get into singing. Let's listen to our trail. Me and Matt done one. Oh, Bill, I'm terribly worried about little Trevor. Why, what's the problem, Sue Lock? What's wrong with our son, Trevor Lock? He's upstairs and he's he's got all sorts of mental problems. I think one day it might come out in some sort of enigma. I think it will come out in enigma. I said to you when you were pregnant, let me punch it out now, then we can have it for dinner. But you insisted on birthing the fool. Now he makes enigmas. Well, we need something to clear up the mice around the village. I know. We'll raise our son to be a brutal animal killer. Shall we, dear? Oh, do what you like with him. I'm bored of the little twit. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that was, wasn't it, Matt? Yeah. Me and Matt done that. That's how we think of you. Let a load of locusts out. <laughs> Absolutely. It, were, and it, it was happened good. all the time, and it was his crutch. If he was nervous about a stand-up gig, he thought that a load and lo and it was so it was madness. Why, we, why did you do I that? thought it was bringing chaos to people. We just right, okay, this is brilliant. Oh, we'll unleash these locusts, then we'll throw these pictures and smash up mice with hammer. Do you remember dead mice? They're all everything. dead mice. Nothing all hurt. Nothing except them locusts hurt. may have been hurt, but they were going to get eaten anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Hold on, you liberated them. Them locusts yeah, were given a taste you of freedom to, to perform this act. Yeah, this Got only got once, so got... not after they'd seen me. Well, do you know what he did as well there? What? This was the gig where he took a Barbie, can we say this? Yeah. He took, took a Barbie, a Barbie doll, doll, put a condom on it, <laughs> stuck out of his bum. You can't say that. <laughs> and then yeah, he, goes, he goes, you people are idiots. The idea of beauty is a myth. We're bringing our children up wrong. Put a condom on a Barbie and stuck out of his bum. <laughs> I know, and he made me dress up as someone called Ray. <laughs> and you had to help oh, get that thing up my bum. Stick you no, up I it. didn't. Yes, you I did. did. No, it was nothing to do with that, mate. Don't look at him drawing a hand, <laughs> trying to draw an imaginary I line under that issue. With that. I was cheering you on inside. But <laughs> <that's> literally inside. <laughs> the old woman who swallowed a fly. Inside was where I needed the cheer. I was up there pulling her out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ken so, was furious when he found out, wasn't he? He used to be in a blind place. Cry. Like, a lot of people nearly cried. I, was, I laughed. <laughs> I just thought this is so insane. I walked off, off up the road and I just looked back and the silhouette against the sort of sun coming up. <laughs> this ridiculous situation. And um, Russell leant over the edge and went, Duncan, right, right. <laughs> As if like, I've got something for you. <laughs> Put his fingers down his throat and tried to vomit no. on him. And Duncan was under there. But he was going, ah, ah, wait for it. It's coming. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, hadn't, he hadn't eaten anything. So <laughs> just gin. Duncan, just gin vapour coughs. Duncan was underneath him going, please don't be sick on me. Russell, if you're sick on me, then this is all off. <laughs> and then they called up, I remember they called up the executives. At I giving you the idea that we are bullying you. Trevor, where do you get this from? What's wrong with you? Aren't you the real bully? Hmm, because it's often the case that people who are bullied become bullies. But I think perhaps the reason we've been bullying you is because you bully us, bully boy. Yeah. Sat there in your neckerchief. Well, we yeah. made we made a little jingle as well, Trev, anticipating that you'd do some self-indulgent rubbish. We made this. 
So, Locke, my wife, this is Bill Locke, your husband. Do you think it's too late for us to get Trevor adopted? Yes, I don't think anyone would have him. He's, you know, deformed and he's got the problems. Those problems are grinding me down, Sulok. I suggest we remove our sandals and stomp all over his belly to see what it is that lives within him. Is it a fetus or has he got more enigmas in there? I think he's got a lot of enigmas, but we can squash them out of him. Squash out those cursed enigmas. Like wine from a grape. That's the spirit. They are, Trev. Nice, that is. I'm well, glad you're happy with that. <laughs> I'm a fighter now. Much, much worse than and it he's was. And he's phoning up and goes, yeah, I just bought some drugs. Uh, I got shot at. Got shot at again. Buying the <laughs> drugs. Oh, these drugs, man, they're going to wipe me out one of these well, days. One of these days, I'm going to take a bullet and I'm going to have to pull it out with tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, though. I got a toothpick. I'm going to flick this bullet straight on out of me. Bullet Cain, take this cane, treasure it always, never in a fit of senseless violence, smash it against the wall. You couldn't wait. Right, now wait, this is what you? actually happened. You couldn't wait to we destroy that. We were bored in a room, and then I put a can of energy drink on top of the- Energy drink! Oh, why not try some energy drink? It'll make you feel really anxious. <laughs> put it on top of a television, and I said, right, and I was holding the cane, I said, do you reckon if I hit that really hard with this cane, it'll blow up? And Russell goes, yeah, go on, do it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I said, do you want to do it? No, no, I'm too scared. I know. I'll know. i just I'm hide behind scared. you. And so, like Jason Weathercoats. <laughs> like Jason then... Weathercoats, Trevor Locke's assistant when they get... Brought along. Brought you down some drawings. Well, I just brought my A-level stuff. Yeah, I've done and these he drawings. Goes, he goes, so, what arts programming do you watch? And I said, oh, I've watched the South Bank show. And I couldn't I think of anything else. Of course I didn't. I just mm. said it. And then I said, uh, Art Attack. You watch like that, and you he goes. You to watch Art yeah, Attack with yeah, Neil Buchanan. I know, and I sh really got. I thought, oh no, I've said that, and he went, "Oh, I've never seen that. Who's that with?" And I said, "Neil Buchanan." <laughs> and he went, "Oh, we'll have to watch out for that. When's it on? The afternoons." <laughs> <laughs> and then I lived in fear for that year course that he'd one day come up to me in the corridor, grab hold of me, and go, "I've seen Art Attack. Art Attack is a trite, lazy <laughs> piece of programming in which Neil okay. Buchanan smashes up crayons. She wants to make a little face, smile." <laughs> Turn it upside down and it's a sad face. He can go either way. Look at that. It's a daft little fella. He's happy as sad. Part of the brain un unevolved since we were lizards and gets you right in the ghoulies. But what we done by playing Pinch My Skin in the news was naughty. It was bad. It was but we did wait till it was the music news because Adam goes, Don't do it when it's talking about the Pope, whatever it said about the Pope. <laughs> don't blame Adam goes, me. Uh, Adam don't goes, blame Adam. Adam goes, Adam he goes, nothing. He goes, Them suckers over at the news, they won't have the. Like, Adam's our producer at Six Music. He goes, They won't have the balls to do it. Then he got out his own balls to demonstrate. No. He goes, I ain't got a lovely set of these. Then he pulled them <laughs> tight, <laughs> pulled the skin and he squashed them again. Oh, and all, the nuts were like out the top like a bunch of flowers. Like a bunch of flowers <laughs> oozing out of his fist and goes, if anyone comes and complain, they're going to get a bunch of skin and nuts. And then when someone did come to complain, he hid under the desk. Hid under the desk, crying and scratching frantically at his own genitals. He goes, oh, I'll get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. I've done wrong. Then, then, uh, Master thought. Sue, what do you what do you say in... You, you should apologise to the news. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Master Sue, uh, do, do you find me attractive on any level? Every level. <laughs> you lovely, <laughs> lovely little man. Let's have a look at what you've got down your little trouser lops. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Do you mind if I touch you? I'm going to get out now. Oh, God. <laughs> you certainly are a mighty Tai Chi master. Got an update here from Victoria, the Woodlife Girl. In Jesus, you are a bunch of proper fellas. So, um, okay, so we've got the, uh, we'll try, oh, no one's back. Now we can read said ring him up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to start for a burp and I turned into an old lady. <laughs> um, like, we, yeah. can <laughs> we can ring. We can ring. Oh, now. it's no good. <laughs> so we ring him up. We're trying to see if we can ring some other people up. Why don't you lot? There's, uh, that's that's been culturally reviewed. Are you right, Trevor? I that's always got, got on hook. better with my friends' mums than I got on with my friends. Did you? Yeah, it always How made odd. me feel really lonely. Because you've got the image <laughs> of an old man. Yeah, probably even when you were seven, Trev, you probably had your Alan Bennett-itis. You're yeah, probably tottering around nice. in a cardigan. Yeah. Isn't it funny how mincemeat and mincemeat have both got the same name, but one's sweet and one's savoury? <laughs> Hang on, Tommy, I'll be up to play in a minute. Your mother's just showing me how to roll pastry. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, be, be, be quiet, Tommy. Your, your 
Smither and I were just uh, cutting these out. Be careful with the edges of that. Yeah, it's uh, okay, Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> Trevor sat there in a little pinny. <laughs> oh, 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 I think Mrs. Stevens, just give him the edges to play with. Oh. <laughs> let, let him play with those. Tommy, so, <laughs> Trevor, come upstairs and play. Oh, he's a handful, isn't he, Mrs. Stevens? <laughs> oh. Someone's had too much Kiara. <laughs> Someone's tired. Oh, come on, pop up to bed now, Tommy. So we were in um, we're in Manchester next week. So if you're doing the Sonic uh, Enigma, what, is that your impression of Manchester? Don't Manchester. do that. Don't that. Noel's coming in here later. So so he's not going to take very kindly, is he, to you satirising his beloved I'm not Manchester? No, Manchester. I'm just Manchester. trying to join in. Manchester. Well, that's how you're going to join Manchester. in, is it? Don't do that when we're up there. They won't like that, Matthew. Why not? You did it in Leicester. You walked around the streets of Leicester going, Leicester sucks! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go that. I like Leicester. That's nice to be in Leicester, if anything. say that now. I liked it there. I'm going to ask a 17-year-old to babysit, but now I feel a bit nervous, says Heather from Brighton. Yeah, yeah, do be nervous. Depends on the child, though, because... So what's he like? Get him he, on the line. He we'll judge him. He goes, hey, chuts. <laughs> <Things like laughs> hey, that. sweet cakes, why don't you come and sit down on a settee? Why well, are rules about going to bed? Kind <laughs> <laughs> of silly rules. <laughs> don't you think that's kind of restrictive? Why don't you and I just have a little chat? Cigarette? <laughs> you know, if, he, if, if he's like that, then, uh, yeah, worry about it. Oh, Trevor! You know, Bring it home. Bring that action figure home. Personal conspiracies and paranoia. Mm -hmm. Someone might do voodoo on that. <gasps> oh That's my God! My do you think someone might do voodoo on my figurine? There's any justice in the world? <laughs> someone who can you, you pull a string and it goes. Oh, you pulled that string. It hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull that. Here, get off that string. Get off it. That's my string. You've got no business. That comes out of my back. <laughs> you yobbo! <laughs> How dare you try to control me? <laughs> yeah, silly business, really. Here on uh, these per and they've built this sort of gay society, right? But because they've this Hollywood film, they've gone. We can't have this bleeding gay prison utopia. They've gone removed all traces of gayness, but there's the odd sort of ember of it still flickering in Are the radio. Sure? Why not watch this in your little pink dressing gown? <laughs> <laughs> I can see through this charade. <laughs> Hello, boys. Can't it's the little Morrissey the cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite clear what's going on here. <laughs> Someone call Mark Holman. <laughs> no escape, blimey. The only thing you boys aren't escaping is the truth. Now sit here and give me a cuddle. I need a smooch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come at that penal colony and I'll smooch the bloody <laughs> lot of you. The curtains are horrible. Uh, my God, they say prison's hell, but let's not lose our manners. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, come on, Sam Bradley said... <laughs> oh, th that's lovely, isn't it? Matt's flatmate, can we say that thing? Matt's flatmate yeah. was in Not the Not my flatmate now, an old flatmate. An old flatmate of Matt's was in the Territorial Army, was it? And he's like, uh, there was a, a sort yeah. of a... There was uh, a hike thing where one uh, someone had to play an injured man and there was a proper soldier there who was... Proper soldiers! Where, uh, and where he, um, sort of he, proper he threw, my, he threw uh, my mate Steve over his shoulder and started running with him, and uh, he squeezed that little fart. Because <laughs> of all the, because imagine if you were over someone's shoulder and they're running, and it's like their shoulders pressing into your abdomen, and like a little, I love that it was Steve a little went. involuntary fart, little, <laughs> <laughs> and the sergeant who was carrying him. He didn't what? say anything. Like he didn't like go. Oh, you know, he just went. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's really good. Not like, oh, you dirty, oh, you dirty bastard. Uh, he just went. Right, come on. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> As if there's a list of things yeah. that you don't so do. You've got no dignity if you're don't going do little carried over a bigger man's shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And so your head's hanging down their back. Yeah. I'm OK down here. <laughs> All these little hands flailing about near that drill sergeant's pump. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Dirty devil. Pack uh, it in. <laughs> don't do that. It's good. That used to be my first catchphrase when I was a child. Right. Concentrating. I am. Right, and now it's time for contestant number three. It's played by Matt Morgan. Go on Hello, in. Peter! <laughs> He's the wacky one. He's number three. She's off her nut. Hello! <laughs> I, I love to meet you the other night. My name's Angela. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! You were really drunk. Okay, Peter. So, will you choose number one? It's Anna. She's just a woman or something. Crazy did you used world. to play Knockdown Ginger? Yeah, I did, actually. I was pretty good at it. Some really? say the best. The best there ever was. Yeah. I was the chosen one. And uh, budding. Do you remember throw buds at people's windows? What? Budding! You buds? pick some rose buds, you throw the buds at people's windows. That's nice. Come on. <laughs> That's what you do when people get married. No, you throw them real aggressive, like, you know, <laughs> hard, hard buds. I'm talking about not soft buds. What, not and they burst? They just 
make a sound. What, like, doom, someone goes, did someone just hit the window? No. <laughs> and you get outside going, anarchy, yeah, <laughs> budding. <laughs> Take that, society. <clears throat> now I'm going to go throw a leaf at a car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let Lee's earwigs back into society. <laughs> Some of them ain't even served their full sentence. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is I was pretty wild. See what happens. No, don't, don't do that. No, you should. I, I don't know. Rethink it. All right, I'll think about it Come again. Come up with some other titles. What Perhaps like? People could email them in. Email some suggestive titles. Not suggestive. <laughs> you always oh. make that mistake. <laughs> Suggested. Yeah, the pages of this are stuck together. <laughs> open my book. It look in the middle. Yeah, pull that book right open. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah. The Jam, Batman. All they said was Batman. 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 Ba Batman. Do you like Batman? No. Why? What about that film? I like Batman. I like Batman. You don't like uh, Michael Caine in it, do you? Well, I like it, but it's stupid. It... Batman talks like that. And Michael Caine goes, Hello, Batman. You was in late last night. <laughs> you all right, mate? <laughs> yeah, I was out solving some crimes. It was pretty tough out there, I guess. Well, you got a little rip in your costume, mate. <laughs> I've darned it up, though. Don't darn my costume in that way. It is my bed suit. Oh, yeah. Batman. <laughs> yeah. You knocked over a milk bowl on your way in. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of blood over the porch. <laughs> yeah, like the butler is too domestic and Batman is too glamorous, isn't it? There's yeah. a... Floating out. Do you know what, Matt? I once had a couple of goldfish. One of those crazy guys done a long poo. It was just trailing out the, the back one of it. The other one ate it. Told me this so many times. <laughs> the other one swam up behind, started eating it. I'm sure this is page one of the book book. Why did they do it, Matt? Why did they? A lot of people say, "Why don't I get into showbiz?" <laughs> and it all goes back to the thing I saw with a great little act and these two fish. One of them did a long poo. Looked like a bit of string or something. God knows how he did it. And the other one just ate it, quick as you like, live as it happened. It was wonderful. I mean, I never forgot those two little guys, and it is to them that I dedicate this bookie book. Guys, <laughs> this one's for you. You were pretty on. That, that going on. What about your rats? One it ate the other one's whole body. <laughs> That's worse. All my pets eat bits of each other. You drive them to it. <laughs> I do, don't make you me blow hot and cold with them. I do not blow hot and cold. Oh, yeah, then there was that dog who used to coax up the stairs and exactly. then kick it down. That is apologise to him when it got to the We've got some woman on the phone. What is it? Oh, yeah, she's going to help us with our goldfish. Now, we had a, a distraught goldfish brought all the way down from the Midlands by Mr. Nibs, our sort of servant. We're going to think of some other things for you to do, young man, all right? Because we've got this 18-year-old lad. We might as well make use of him. pointing your finger at so We're going to think of some other things for you, <laughs> young man. My <laughs> God! <laughs> I'm just surprised to get ready to ask, around your ass to do your packing. Yeah! Come around and do my packing, <laughs> little layabout. What's he contributed to this show next to naught? A fish. And Matthew, I've bought you out of what I can only describe as incredible kindness. All my... I'm wearing the leather jacket you right. gave me. I bought, I've like, cleaned out my cupboards because I'm moving out and that. Bought him a lovely leather jacket and some nice T-shirts. You should have seen him going through them, discarding them he like they a pop idol He gave me a T-shirt. Oh, no, this will <laughs> never do. <laughs> dreary, dreary, dreary. <laughs> Well, half of them have got... One's got an H-bomb, a nuclear bomb, and it's saying H-bomb. Yeah. I'm going to wear that. Hello, ironic. guys, the bombs arrive. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I mean, I'm very grateful. <laughs> okay. One well. of them, and I don't know what this is in the aid of, I'm <laughs> right. it's, Yeah. It's covered in old ladies' white pubic hair. That is not pubic hair. What is that? And of the rich. So I see Sean Penn. Listen, right, here's some famous people things that have happened. I see Sean Penn. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it was him? Yeah, because you... the producer of the film knows him and went over and spoke to him. I think you flew past on Casper and went, That's Sean Penn! Casper! Oh, you don't care! <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about nothing no more, Casper! Stop eating that grass! <laughs> Respect me! Respect me! Okay, what are you doing now? Booking another cab or something? Uh, yeah, that's correct. The email address. Is yes. it Russell Brand at BBC.com? Yes. What's yes. wrong with him? Yes! You Crikey. are worse that you're over there. You're shouting orders out. <laughs> That's because I've got no power out I here. Like... I just stand in the ocean, bossing like... around the crabs uh, earlier today, gonna... just so I had someone to tell something to do. <laughs> An eccentric major <laughs> on a field <laughs> telephone. Troops, advance, do this, do that. <laughs> Safely in your holiday heaven. Here's us on the front <laughs> line. Lions led by donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you bring up that World War One propaganda. I'm stuck here in my love shack, f 
aimless and alone. Why are you worried about losing your fame? That doesn't matter. You always go uh, about things being be... transient and Buddhism, and there you are over there going, I'm Russell Brand, big mouth, hello, <laughs> Harry Krishna, <laughs> why does no one love me? Here, I was on the Enemy Awards once, and me and Bob Geldof had a spat, did you see it? <laughs> Bob who? It was quite the thing for a while. Is someone but looking for you? Stuart. Have you escaped from somewhere? <laughs> Do you need a little cuddle? Hello. <laughs> yes, I do need a cuddle. Come up to my hotel. I'm a man. I don't care anymore. Get your knickers off. These aren't knickers, sir.